What's up everybody? Do you guys ever get a craving for something that you just can't quite get your hands on? Well, that's what this video is all about because in this one, I'm gonna talk about five American foods that I miss while living here in Sweden. Now, the first food that I wanna talk about in this video is authentic Mexican food. Now, there is one restaurant in Stockholm that is pretty good. It's pretty good authentic Mexican food called La Neta. So I go there very, very often, needless to say. But one of the things I miss about America is that there are so many really good Mexican restaurants. La Neta here in Stockholm is mostly tacos. They have quesadillas and things. But to get like a really, really good burrito, man, that is tough to get your hands on. I do have a Mexican friend, Michelle, who's also a YouTuber. Shout out to her. She says that burritos are Tex-Mex. They're not traditional Mexican. But maybe that's what I actually miss. Maybe Tex-Mex is the thing that I miss because getting just a monster loaded burrito, it's just so good. I can't even put it into words. There's this place in my hometown. It's a really, really hole in the wall place. It's called Super Taco Express. If you look at it from the outside, it actually looks like sort of like a, like a dry cleaners or something. It doesn't even look like a restaurant. It's like you would never expect it, but they have some of the best Mexican food that I have ever, ever had. And actually last year, I went on a business trip and we stopped by my hometown with some Swedish colleagues of mine and they had heard about this place because all of my colleagues, we love good food. And I told them there's this hole in the wall Mexican place, Super Taco Express, you guys, you guys would love it. And this place became even more legendary because there was one time that we were out at dinner in Stockholm, me and my colleagues, and our server was speaking English. And because she was speaking English with an American accent, I asked her where she was from. And she said she was from Vancouver, Washington, which is the exact place that I am from. It was pretty, pretty mind blowing of all of America. She picked not Portland, the big city, but the actual suburb of Portland is, we were from the exact same suburb. I was like, oh, where'd you go to high school? And I asked her, where was your favorite restaurant? And she's like, oh, it's this tiny little Mexican place. You've probably never heard of it. And as soon as she said that, I knew she was talking about it. I was like, are you talking about Super Taco Express? She's like, oh my God, I didn't know other people knew about this place. And all of my colleagues are sitting there and they're like, what is this tiny little Mexican place? So when they came to America to visit, they had Super Taco Express for the first time and it definitely lived up to the hype. They all said it was amazing and it was exactly how we described it. So I think really, really good, authentic Mexican food. Although we got La Neta, I do miss some of the options that we would have in America and also the Tex-Mex spin that we would put on it. The second food item that I miss from America, I'm actually gonna say is coffee creamer. I know this is something that they do not actually have in Sweden is coffee creamer and it's something that I would have in my coffee almost every single time I was drinking coffee in America. And now I've really gotten used to drinking Swedish coffee that's much stronger, darker. A lot of people drink their coffee black here. I would never like to do that in America. And I've really acquired the taste for how they drink their coffee in Sweden, sometimes adding a little bit of milk, but it's way less sweet, the coffee here. When Americans drink coffee, they really like the sweet flavors and they add either syrup or coffee creamer and there's all different flavors of coffee creamer. They have like a hazelnut caramel that I really like and you add this to your coffee and it's basically like cream and sugar and it just makes the coffee absolutely amazing. But it's interesting because the longer I live in Sweden and the longer that I get used to coffee without a lot of that sweet flavor, I remember going back to America this most recent time a year ago and when I had coffee creamer in my coffee, I, I really thought that it felt quite sweet. Uh, I think this is something that you sort of get used to. If you're in America for a long time where everything is so sweet, you get used to those sweet flavors and you crave it. But now being in Sweden for a long time, I wouldn't say I miss it as much now as I did in the beginning, but it's still something that it, it, I think it's really, really good. I love having those caramel and, and chocolate and all these different flavors in your coffee. I, th I think that can be really, really nice. Now, since we're talking about things that we will add to our drinks, this third one is gonna be water flavor enhancers. They have these things in America. It's kind of like what we have in Sweden with soft. Soft is basically like concentrated juice that they'll put and you can add water to it and it flavors the water. They'll do that here in Sweden, but in America, it's basically the same thing, but it's so convenient because they have these little squirt bottles where you just squirt it in. It's like very, very concentrated flavors that you can add to your water. And I think it makes the water taste extremely good. Whenever my parents ask what I want them to bring, this is always one of the things that I ask for, some water flavor enhancers, because I think it's just so easy, it's so convenient, and I love having flavored water. The fourth food that I miss is actually a group of many, many different products that I'm just gonna group into one 
for this point. And this is anything from Costco, basically. Costco has amazing quality foods and we don't have Costco in Sweden. I love it. If you've never been to a Costco, it's basically like a giant warehouse and people go around with like huge, like basically it's not even a cart. It's like basically like a, a hand truck with like, so people can haul out like boxes of stuff. Like it's basically a super sized shopping experience and you actually have to pay a membership every year to shop at Costco. I think it's like a hundred bucks a year that even allows you to go into the store. So if you don't show your Costco card, they don't even let you into the store, but it's totally worth it because they have really, really high quality stuff at really, really good prices. And there's so many products that you can only get at Costco, like Costco steak strips. It's basically like beef jerky, but it's like so soft and not like too chewy. It just basically, it's like steak that like melts in your mouth. I absolutely love that product. That's one of the things that I'm always asking my family to bring back from Costco. They also have really, really good dried mangoes, dried coconuts, uh, and they also have like really, really good peanuts. And I don't know, it's like you can get peanuts anywhere. You can get peanuts in Sweden, but just like the peanuts that they have in Costco, it's just like, there's something special about it. I really, really miss Costco. Of all the grocery stores in America, Costco is actually the one that I miss the most because there's just something about it. And the fifth and final food that I want to talk about in this video that I miss from America is the style of food, which is Southern barbecue. There actually is a pretty good Southern barbecue restaurant here in Stockholm called Brisket and Friends. I've been there multiple times, but just like my point with the Mexican food, even though there's one good restaurant with that style of food, there's so many more options when it comes to this in America. I remember my favorite barbecue place in Vancouver, Washington, Goldie's Barbecue. It was a girl from Louisiana and a guy from Texas. They were a couple. And if you know anything about Southern barbecue in America, all the regions in the South, they all have sort of their own spin on barbecue. I mean, Kentucky barbecue, Tennessee barbecue, that's gonna be different than the types of barbecue that you're getting in Texas or Louisiana. And Louisiana is known for a lot of spice and flair and, and flavor in their barbecue. And Texas is known for really, really good beef brisket. And when you have this couple of the Louisiana woman with the spice and the Texas brisket master, and then you put it together and it was just something really, really amazing. Uh, I love Southern barbecue. It's one of the best foods, I think, in my opinion. And if you go to the South of America and you're wondering why there's a lot more overweight people, you'll understand when you taste Southern barbecue, it tastes absolutely amazing. Maybe not the healthiest, but it's something that I could eat once a month and, and definitely really enjoy it every time. So with that guys, those are the five foods that I miss from America while I've been living in Sweden. In the comment section below, let me know where you're living and if there's a food that you miss, I think that would be very interesting to see. Hit the like button on this video if you enjoyed it. That really, really helps me with the channel to continue to grow and to continue to share my experiences with you guys. I think this is super fun to do. And with that being said, I'm gonna sign out in this one. I'll see you guys in another video.